Hi guys, welcome on in. I just want to start this video off by saying a huge thank you to everyone for all the support you've given me so far. So so many of you wanted to still see my videos and also want to see more of my videos in the future. So thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. Today's video is going to be a little bit different to my previous videos. I really enjoy doing the gaming videos that you guys have probably seen, but I am going to try out some new tech related videos that I wanted to share with the community, especially around things that have been shared with me recently, which is really, really cool. So if you do enjoy today's video, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you do want to see some more tech related videos in the future, then obviously feel free to like and subscribe here on the channel. The piece of tech that I'd like to talk about today is a new plugin for the Elgato Stream Deck. If you're wondering what an Elgato Stream Deck is, it is a tool that you have on your desk that allows streamers and content creators to do a wide range of things, including changing scenes or animations on their stream or in the piece of work that they're doing. It's also a really handy tool for controlling your smart home. So if you do have devices or lighting, then you can use a variety of different plugins as well to control those aspects of your home. The plugin that I want to show you today is known as the Govi Controller, which is created by Geeky Ego. Geeky Ego also created the Sound Deck, which was recently showcased by Nutty on YouTube, so make it sure to check out that video. Govi are a company that creates smart lighting devices, which are similar to Philips Hue. However, they are very low on price, which is amazing, and also a very, very good quality. So make sure to check out Govi devices. I'll put a link in the description below for you to check out some of their products. Usually to control any uh, Govi devices, you would use the app that's on your phone or any other device that has a Google Play Store or a App Store from um, Apple. And you would use that to control the lighting in various different ways, whether it's changing themes or colors, which makes some really, really interesting designs. The Govi controller allows you to control your Govi devices directly from your Stream Deck instead of your phone. So it's really handy so you don't have to log into your phone and you can change your settings on your Govi controller at the push of a button. We're going to jump in now to show you where the plugin is located in the Elgato store, as well as showcase some of the options that are with the plugin. If you own a Elgato Stream Deck, you will find this screen familiar. This is your Stream Deck screen where you can assign your plugins. To find the Govi controller, all you need to do is you go to the icon in the top right where the Elgato store is, type in here Govi, G-O-V-E-E, -E, and you'll find the Govi controller right here. I have it installed already, but all you need to do is click the install button and the plugin should appear on the right hand side of your main Stream Deck page. If you locate the Govi controller in your Stream Deck, it will look like this. It has four options. You can turn devices on or off, change the brightness, change the color of the device, or change the color temperature to warm or cool on the device. When setting up a button for the Govi controller, you'll see a list of options at the bottom of the Stream Deck page, allowing you to customize and choose the device that you're using. These are the settings for the on and off button. These are the settings for a brightness button. These are some settings for a color button. And these are settings for a color temperature button. So to show you how the Govi controller plugin works, I've set some buttons up here on my stream deck. I've added the on and off button to the top here, allowing me to turn the device on and off to a low, medium and high brightness for me to show you how I could change the brightness of the device. Also set the colors. I've set cyan, red and purple as my test colors and also set the temperature of the device to warm or cool. One really important thing to know is that you will require your API key for the device that you're trying to set up the plugin with. To find out and request your API for a device, you can do this through the Govi app under the settings tab. I will include the GitHub link to the plugin in the description of this video, where you can find out the compatible devices with the plugin, as well as how to get your API key. You can also set up multiple Govi devices with a multi-action or a multi-action switch if you're familiar with using these on a Stream Deck. So I'm going to show you how the Govi plugin works now with my neon light strip that I have from Govi, which I bought last month, which is a really, really nice uh, device. So let me just show you how, they, how it works. As I said before, I've got an on switch at the top low, medium and high brightness on the second row of my stream deck, cyan, red and purple on my third row, and also a warm and cool temperature on the fourth row. So let's start with on and off switch. So if I press the on and off switch on the first row, as you will see, it turns the device off. And if I press it again, it turns the device on. Next, we'll test the brightness. So you've got low, medium and high. So I'll start with low, press low, significantly decreases the brightness on the strip light itself. Go to mid, gives us a mid light, which is really nice, and then a high brightness. Next, we're going to use the buttons that change the different colors. There are over 16 million versions of colors to find here, so if you do want to 
give it a go yourself. There are a range of different colors you can try, but I've chosen three different colors, cyan, red, and purple for us to give a, give a try now. So if I start with cyan, then red, and then purple. Lastly, here is the warmth and cool temperature settings that you can do with the buttons. What I didn't mention before is that you can actually set the warmth or the cool of the light on a slider in the button. So it's very, very cool if you have a specific temperature you enjoy. So here we go. Here's the warmth. And here's the cool. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought about the tech or the video itself in the comments below. And if you'd like to know more about tech things in the future or would like to see more and more videos, then obviously feel free to like and subscribe. Also, I stream on Twitch, so if you would like to join my Twitch community, then feel free to follow me at twitch.tv forward slash crazy hazy. It would be great to have you there if you'd like to join us. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.